We ended the show on Friday, Blockchain Basement, looking at Chainlink's price action. I've been talking about its range that has been locked in for, just, I mean, just about a year, maybe even more at this point. And it looks like we might be getting a chance to try and break out and actually start an uptrend in general. And this is super exciting for me because, as you know, in the Blockchain Basement, we've been holding on to Bitcoin and Ethereum for the majority of 2023, and then only have recently started to look at moving heavily into, uh, well, me personally, what I've been looking at in Chainlink's price performance, last bull market was moved from around $2 up to 16 something, very early on. So I saw I was an early performer last time, had a, this theory that it might actually be another early performer for this bull market, and, it's had just some of the most solidifying news releases with its connection to CCIP and SWIFT over the last few months. So I was feeling even more bullish about it. I've been a holder for years, but essentially uh, just, you know, kind of sent everything I could uh, capital wise, liquid wise after it at around 590 um, to, to top off bags that were originally built somewhere around the 250 mark. So the overall entry points are awesome on it. Uh, but beyond all that, it just really feels like the overall tokenomics setup of Chainlink, we're well understood it's a 7% release per year. Um, I was looking at the overall market cap potential of Chainlink. And in my opinion, I don't, you know, it doesn't rely on Bitcoin spot ETF being approved. It doesn't rely on regulatory clarity and all these other different things. What I'm trying to base most of my theories and uh, expectations out of all coins at is looking at Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market really topping out somewhere around $5 trillion in the next market. Uh, that expectation may be a lowball expectation, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong in the right kind of way, and I do even better than I expected. But that being said, the reason why I feel like it's $5 trillion is where we're going to cap out at We've seen the diminishing returns process play out over the last few cycles. So I'm keeping that in mind. And for Chainlink particularly, right around 76% of them will be out by the time mid-2025 comes about. And that's when I'm looking to try and target a time frame to really be fully laddering out. Um, obviously doing it in stages, but Chainlink, I definitely feel like $130 is not that far out of... Uh, reach for that token. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling good about Chainlink right now. I'm kind of excited to see if we break out of this uh, nine dollars. Uh, I think it's like nine, nine and a half dollar uh, kind of top out spot. If we can break out of this range that we've been stuck in for so long, that would just be something else to see, because we might actually be seeing the beginnings of the altcoin market come to life. So, very exciting times. Um, hope everyone has been doing well and been DCAing and staying, paying attention to the best projects as they come because uh, I kind of feel like time's getting close to running out. It's going to be the holidays soon. We're going to be busy buying all the Christmas gifts and floating around to family members and everything like that. So I know that the holidays go by very fast. So uh, just keep that in mind as we see all these things unraveling. Hope you guys are doing well and enjoying the Chainlink breakout.